Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good evening, whatever time zone you're in. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Listen, when you come on, make sure you hit that like button and also the follow button so that you can share this message and get it out there to as many people that do need to hear this now. As I do always, I'm going to do now. Good morning to everybody. Listen, um, this is something that really needs to be talked about today, and we're going to do it. Uh, if I just happen to go in on some people, don't worry about it. You know, that's just me. That's just what I do. Um, but anyways, make sure you all pass this video. Share, share, share. And let's keep it moving. OK, y'all got it. OK, good. So this is where I'm going with this. You know, for for such a long time, we're out here asking for so many things. Correct. We're asking for a lot of stuff and still nothing has been provided. Good morning, y'all. What's up? A lot of things have not been provided. What I am really tired of is the fact that now um, Al Sharpton and a few other people have put together a march to have now another million man march in Washington. Now, here's my problem. Hey, what's up? Here's my problem with that. Here's my problem with that. What do you want? What do you want? Because as black people in America and so many other races in America, we have been giving promises. They have wrote bills. They have wrote stuff into legislation and all of those things. And we still don't have them. So, again, while we down here on our knees, while we down here doing all of this foolishness, y'all still don't have no action. We can march all day long. We can protest all day long. But where is the action? Where is the action on our part? And where is the action on their part? Because at the end of the day, what we've been asking for hundreds of years, we've been asking for hundreds of years and we still slaves. We're still slaves to a modern Jim Crow. Jim Crow ain't no more, but it's some it's a new it's a new different type of Jim Crow. Now, my question is this before y'all jump on here and when we talk about some, well, we just praying for the victory. Listen, y'all Negroes can be out here speaking in tongues that you don't know, know nothing about. You don't even know what you talking about. So if you don't know what you saying in tongues and language with the Holy Ghost, though, I need to know too, daggone it. If you don't know what you saying in tongues, you need to speak in good English. And you need to pray to your God that you serve and tell him exactly what you want. And when you get up off your knees, from you need to make sure you go to Congress and tell them what you need. And don't let up off them till they do what they said they're going to do. Period. They promise us equal liberty and justice. We don't have equal liberty and justice. We don't have this stuff. We were promised 40 acres and a mule. Do you have your 40 acres and a mule? I don't care if you can't manage money properly. I don't care if you don't, you're going to burn out that money as soon as you, it don't even matter. Did you get your 40 acres and a mule? No, you did not. Did your great grandma, 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 did they get their 40 acres and a mule? No, they did not. How about this? For the folks who want to get on right now, for the folks who want to get on right now, tell me, tell me what I don't know. In 1865, this is what was promised to us about our 40 acres and a mule. In 1865, abandoned Confederate land was granted to the newly freed slaves. Did you get your 40 acres and a mule? No, you did not. In 1866, returning landowners pressured the President Johnson to rescind the grant. So my thing is this right here. We've been promised things for hundreds of years. We've been promised things for hundreds of years. Ain't nobody here original but the Indians. I'm Indian. Hello. And African American. And probably white somewhere down up in there. So before we get to talking about who need to go home and who need to do this and who need to do that. Baby, you can't tell nobody to go home. You Listen, white people, you can't tell nobody to go home because y'all not original from here. Y'all didn't discover this country. None of that stuff like that. So how can you promise somebody something that's not yours is stolen? And since we still have not gotten that, it's called lying. It's called lying. 
If you cannot stand on your promise, it's called lying. And see, this is the big distraction here. This is the big distraction. The church will tell you, oh, we're going to pray. Oh, we're going to pray. Come on, let's pray in a tongue. Okay, so we didn't did all that. You still don't know what you said. So how about this? Why don't you put your prayer down and why don't you stand up and talk to God in English? How about that? I'm so sick and tired of y'all. Y'all want to sit out here and put everything on the Lord, but the Bible says faith is an action word. Faith is the substance of things that you hope for and the evidence of things not seen. You don't see it yet. You hoping for it, and y'all out here still marching, and still nothing ain't been done. So I got a problem. I got a problem. Since we so smart, we got all these preachers out here and everything like that. We so smart. We got DDs and DDs before our name and after our name, but y'all still so stupid that you don't know what the heck you need to ask for. Excuse me, y'all, just spit. You don't know what you're asking for. You don't know what to ask for. You don't, you don't know what you need. You confused. You confused. Well, we just going to pray. All y'all Negroes is out here having prayer calls, having conference prayer calls, having meet and greets, and we just going to pray, and we want prayer to go around the clock, 50 states, and 24-hour prayer. What are you praying for? What are you praying for? If you don't know what to ask for in the natural, how the heck you going to go to God and ask for something in the spiritual? See, that's that dumb stuff right there I'm talking about. Omar, you, it's dumb. It's dumb. If you don't know what to ask the God that you say that you serve, if you don't know what the heck to ask him for in the spirit. Y'all said I need my towel. Hold on. If you don't know what to ask for in the spirit, how the heck you going to sit out here and no justice, no peace? What type of justice do you want, needs? What type of justice do you want? How are you going to ask for something in the natural when you can't even ask God correctly something in the spiritual? All right. So then my question is this. We've asked for equality. We've asked for equality in the schools, in the justice system, in the prison system. We're still, there's supposed to be justice system even in the justice system. Do we, do we have justice or do we, is there just us? Yeah, Mario, there's justice for us. There's justice for them, not us. There's justice for them, not us. When was the last time you saw a white person get pulled over and they get beat up out their car? When was the last time? When was the last time? When was the last time you saw a, a, a person walk out their house and not get the crap beat out of them? When was the last time? Now, hear me something. Hear me. Hear me and hear me good. Y'all out here talking about, and I might go too. Y'all talking about going to Washington, right? Y'all talking about going to Washington and, 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 and y'all going to march uh, on, 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 the, um, on the ground. You going to march again. You going to march up there in Washington again. March and do what? Because if you don't have no like-minded individuals in the White House that's going to put pressure not only on the justice system, but from the head all the way down, we're going to still be right here. We're going to be right here mm, a thousand years later asking the same question. When are we going to get our justice? Now, the Bible says this. And this is what I'm going to get y'all preachers. Oh, I'm going to name all y'all niggas. I'm finna name all of y'all niggas. You trust and believe me when I tell you this. Now, the Bible says in Psalms 83 that, yes, we are a bondage people. We are a enslaved people. Yes, we are a people that are cursed and we are in nations that's going to keep us in bondage. Why? Because we have been deceived. We've been manipulated and we've been in this bondage. Why? Because partly it's our fault. Partly it's our fault because our foreparents did some dirt a long time ago and we still ain't corrected the problem. We talking about, oh, we love God. Do you truly love God? See, this is more spiritual than it is natural. 
Y'all don't like this. This is more spiritual than it is natural. It's both natural and spiritual, but it's more spiritual than it is natural. We have molested. We have we have basically committed fornication to the God that we serve, and we still don't get it. Wherein did we do this? The Bible said that you was going to say that. Did you read your Bibles? The Bible said that. We've been in the same situation. We've been in the same situation. For thousands, for over a thought, well, no, we've been in the same situation for thousands of years and we still can't get right. We still can't get right. And y'all want to tell me, y'all want to tell me, oh, oh, coming on my post, getting mad, getting upset and everything like that. I'm like, niece, okay, you out here marching, what you want? Bruh, you out here marching, what you want? I want justice. No, they got justice. We're just getting what we get. Hear me? We're just getting what we get. We're supposed to be quiet, subservient people and just take it and move on. Heck no. Heck no. Do you not realize that our four, four, four parents have struggled, beat, and some of them was killed just to be where we are today? And we still are walking around here with a promise that has not been fulfilled. And the sad part about it is, the sad part about it is that you got preachers, you got preachers who preach this word of God and that know the truth and we're still in bondage. Why? Because it's easier to manipulate stupid people and to keep them in bondage and keep making money off of them. Hmm? It's, it's easy to keep people in bondage and to keep making a fool out of them. Why? Because they don't read. <laughs> Niggas don't read. <laughs> they don't, they don't, they just, just give me, just give me the gist of it so I can keep moving on. They don't want to know what they need to know. This is why now when you go to the polls, this is why now when you go to the polls, what's up y'all? Good morning. Hey, big sis. When you go to the polls, they're not going to put Democratic or Republic behind, beside the names. They're going to just put the names because it's up to you to study in who you're going to be voting for. Did that make sense? Did, did that make sense? My Negro black people, my black power people. Did that make sense? You need to study and learn who you going to be voting for. But are y'all really going to do that? Or are you just going to be happy to get Trump out of office? You're going to be just happy. Okay. So you're going to be happy to get Trump out of office, but you still don't know who you voting for. Now let, now, let me give you some good Bible scriptures. The Bible scriptures say, study to show thyself approved. A workman not ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. That's what the Bible say. Are you going to study? Are you going to do your research? No, I don't think so. You just want to get Trump out the White House. You not only want to get Trump out the White House, but you want to make sure that you put somebody else in there that's going to be a heck of a lot better than the man that we're trying to get up out of there right now. So I don't need y'all just to get out and vote. I don't need y'all just to get out and vote. I need y'all to just to, 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 to get a little knowledge, to get a little knowledge in your system. See, but that, this is the problem. So like I said, as promised, let me go ahead and get in on these preachers. And I know y'all may not agree with me, and that's fine. I don't care. Y'all know I don't. At the end of the day, for all of these folks that say they're prophets, apostles, uh, preachers, uh, all kinds of things. For all of y'all, let me, let, me let, let me say something to y'all. First of all, where y'all at? Where y'all at? Are you are you tired of burying your um your church members? I, I, I don't see nobody saying that. Are you tired of burying your church members? I, I don't hear you. I, I don't see you. I don't see you. Ain't nobody saying. Are you tired of burying your church members? Are you tired of constantly hearing about police brutality? Oh, I got one even. Ooh, 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 I got ooh, ooh. I got one even better for you. Uh, uh, y'all Chicagoans, y'all Chirac people up there, up there in Chicago. I'm y'all on here. Let me holler at you real quick. Mm hmm Hello, hello, how you doing? Hey. Uh, let me holler at y'all. <clears throat> Microphone. One check. One two. One two. Um. So Matthew Stevenson. Mm hmm Uh, John Hannah. Uh, 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 um. Bishop Cam uh 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 Willick Hamble, 
all y'all peoples. Are y'all tired of burying your people? I mean, like, are you seriously tired of burying your church members because of not only police brutality, but black on black crimes, stupid activities? Are you tired of doing that? Uh, oh, wait a minute. I'm, I'm, I thought I heard something. Oh, you're not tired. You're not tired. Matt, Matt, you're not tired, are you? Because that's just making room for more folks to come in so you can get some more coins, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, that, mm -hmm. uh, you, you're not tired, are you? John, uh, Willie Campbell, all the rest of y'all up there in Chicago, y'all not tired, are you? You're not tired. You're not tired. Because one, one thing about it, um, the government, mm -hmm, the government gets... I'm sorry, not the government, but hospitals. Yeah. Hospitals get $15,000 for every COVID patient. How many COVID victims do have we had this year? Huh? Y'all want to get mad because I was talking about George Floyd and all these millions of dollars that they just collected. But understand this. Every time that they have a COVID patient that comes into the hospital, that's $15,000 per patient. How many patients have we had in the United States? Oh, my God. Y'all don't hear me, y'all. Uh, so then let's ask the question. How much money is the church being given? Y'all willing to rush y'all members back into the church? Y'all willing to rush your members back into the church? How much is the government granting the churches for all of their COVID victims, for all of their COVID uh, uh, peoples? Huh? You want to shout? Oh, no, 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 it almost felt real. Wait a minute. Ha! Ah, I almost got happy. Uh, how many peoples? Huh? How many peoples? Y'all got thousands, 1,500, 2,000 members that come to your church. How much is the government granting you? Hmm? For, no, this for the ones who are connected. Governmentally connected. You know, there are, there's, there's grants. There is money that's out here for these different organizations that you don't know nothing about, but they know about, right? There's money for churches that have been affected by COVID-19. There's money for organizations and people that have been affected by COVID-19. So not only is the, is the hospitals getting $15,000 per person, but how much is the church is getting? Hmm? You want people to come into church and um, blah, 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 you want you want you want all of that? How much money are you getting? Hello, we need to know how much money is the government getting? Huh? How much? How much money is the church is getting? Are, are the churches getting? See, you want folks to come in and pray, but that's only so you can keep your cash flow coming in. Oh, you not, do, do y'all not realize that the government is giving the churches grants? They ain't teaching you sugar honey iced tea. Ain't teaching you sugar honey iced tea, but they want you to come in there. So again, you're asking for something. You're not getting anything in return because you're not backing up what you're saying. All right, so let, let, me, let me just, let me stick to what I was getting to because I'm almost done. Because the simple fact that everybody wants to claim all these titles, what's up, Nolan? All these people want to claim all these titles and things of that nature, and they want to be prophets, evangelists, and all these other Shambhala Hayas and things and stuff like that. What you want? Prophet? God ain't spoke to you and gave you instructions of what to tell the people to ask for? Hello? God ain't spoke to you. God, God ain't downloaded divinely and told you what to tell the people to ask for. God ain't spoke to you like God spoke to Moses and told you what to ask for. See, what you're not going to do is you're not going to sit up here and make daggone excuses. You don't get no excuses. People are dying every day. You don't get no excuses. You don't get no excuses. None. You don't get none. You, you get no excuses. 
You say you're a prophet, an apostle, and all God speaks. He ain't deaf, dumb, and he sure ain't ignorant. He ain't deaf, dumb, and he sure ain't slow. So prophets, what has God said? What has God said? Oh, you ain't got a chance to go to a church meeting, so you ain't you ain't got nothing for the peoples. Oh, okay. You oh God is finna move. Oh, okay, move and do what? Because first of all, God ain't slow. I feel God saying there's about to be a disease. There's about to be there's about to be another surge. A surge of what? A surge of what? What's about to be a surge of? First of all, God ain't slow. God ain't slow. What, what's about to be a surge of? Spill it out, niece. Spill it out. A surge of what? See, you're not, see, this is a different generation of people. Robo, co, 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 co. See, well, you keep robo, keep that robo, keep that robo and that lawnmower with you and spell out what the Lord is about to do. See, time out for y'all sitting out here making a fool out of people. Say what the Lord said. I feel God. Okay, you feel God doing what? I feel God doing X, Y, Z. You can keep them tongues because them tongues don't make you look important. Them tongues don't make you sound important. Matter of fact, you just might as well cut that off because if you don't know what you're saying, I don't know what you're saying either. So we might as well not even speak that. Okay? The spirit, no. If you keep that mess with you, I need to know what the Lord is saying. Hmm? You don't get to speak in tongues in this season. Absolutely not. You don't get to speak in tongues in this season. Keep that mess with you. I, I, I don't know. What, again, prophets, all y'all big time prophets that's now shut up in your caves and that's quiet right now. You ain't got no, you ain't got no word. God ain't spoke to you. God, God ain't spoke. To, God ain't. Oh, God ain't spoke. He's not clear. He's not concise. He's not consistent. Or are you just a fraud? Are you just a ventriloquist, a, a magician? Oh, okay. Yeah, you you didn't you didn't you didn't been you didn't been called. You didn't. You you ain't you ain't, you just know how to you know how to play the game. You know how to play the game. You didn't got your little church. You didn't got your little church. You got your few little peepers. And you just want to sit out here and manipulate dip the peepers. Yeah, that's what's going on. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you something. The funeral home going to constantly make money. They just doing their job. The Bible said let the dead bury the dead. And them dead folks going to bury the dead folks. Okay, how about that? The dead funeral industry is going to continue to make money from people. That's why they stand on, stand by, and stand on post. Because y'all, church, you're going to keep walking in ignorance and they're going to keep making money. Who dead today? Who dead today? Oh, Bishop died. We'll bring him on over. Supervisor died. Bring him on over. Oh, the, the brother died. Bring him on over. We keep marching, but we ain't got no vision. And obviously, we can't look for the church to do anything because the churches. Not all, but some. The churches is too busy trying to rub elbows to come up, to rub elbows to be next such and such of the such and such of the such and such. The church is too busy trying to be somebody. When Jesus said, I'm not even good. Nobody's good but God the Father. He said, in the end, all the glory, all the praise goes to God the Father. So why are you trying to be important? Why are you trying to be the next somebody of the somebody of the somebody who knows somebody about it? Huh? Y'all just sit here, and I don't have a problem. I ain't counting nobody's pockets, but let's make it plain. Mm -hmm. Here go Matthew. Here go. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just making it plain of the obvious. Y'all know it is what it is. Y'all sitting out here. Y'all done paid Matthew Stevenson $5 for a week-long uh, leadership class. $5. 40,000 people, $5. That's like, what, $200,000 right there? Boom. Yup. Mm -hmm. And then not only that, for those of you all who want to be master leaders, 
Baby, I'll tell you, baby, this is the quickest come up I have ever seen in my life. Y'all want to be master leadership, master training classes. Y'all done paid $429 to be master leaders. So that's $2.5 million. I was about, I didn't say 2,100 people, but then they said it was more than that. So if it was just 2,100 people, y'all done made $2.5 million. But it was actually more people. I, somebody told me about 8,000 people. You done made 8,000 people master leaders and you still are not able or capable, capable to give them instructions. How are we going to be capable to lead somebody in the spirit when we can't even be capable to lead people in the natural? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. You want to be big and, and, and great and stuff, all this in the, in the spirit. But you and you just as weak and timid in the natural. You can't even give people the instructions to how to subdue the land. We sing all the time, right? Take the city, take the city, and we won't look back. You want to take the city. You want to take the towns. You want to take the states. But you can't even sit out here. You, you're not effective in your leading. I, th I thought we supposed to be the gatekeepers. Hmm? I thought we were supposed to be gatekeepers. See, y'all like tea. You like tea and gossip and mess. We're supposed to be gatekeepers, spiritual. Us spiritual people, where's my uncle at? I need my uncle on here. We're supposed to be spiritual gatekeepers. But we, we're so full of... We're so full of the word, but we're still ignorant. You you so full of the word the Bible say the Bible say no the Bible say no the Bible say the Bible say you full of what the Bible say you don't even know how to be effective in the natural make it make sense you're so full in the natural you're so full in the natural I'm sorry I keep I'm messing it up you're so full in the spirit that you are dumb in the natural period. You know how to, oh, we, we command the atmosphere. You so full in the natural, I mean in the spiritual, but yet it's still, you don't know what to pray for. You don't know what to pray for. This Bible gives you everything that you need. It does, but you don't even walk in the natural like you so call it walk in the spiritual. Y'all got robes and crosses and rings and things and all this other stuff just to be like the Catholic Church. But yet it's still you do not walk in the natural like you should be walking in the spirit. Oh, that's okay. That's, what, that, 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 that's, that's just really okay. Some of y'all don't like this. That's fine. You can kiss my behind. I don't even care. It is what it is. And it's the truth. Y'all want to be great people. You want to be great people. But yet and still, you don't know how to give instructions. So again, my question is, what are you asking for? And once you ask for it, because we've been asking for hundreds of years, and if not hundreds, thousands, ever since we've been over here in this place. We've been asking for things to be right in a country that is not even right. In a country that they've lied and stolen and beat and killed. So I can't trust them anyways. I can't trust them anyways. You out here, Ed. Asking, oh, whoa, whoa, we was promised our 40 acres in a minute. Did you get it? Did you, did you get it? This is supposed to be a, a, a land of the home of the free and the home of the brave. Are we free? Are we brave? No, we not. We not. But we full of the spirit. Oh, we full of the spirit, ain't we? We full of the spirit. This is, this is what I'm talking about. Is what I'm talking about. 
We're out here saying no justice, no peace. You okay, you want justice. But here's what I'm trying to tell you. They will give things to you just to pacify you and to put things in so you say, well, we we well 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 uh 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 we we did give you the bill. We we gave you the bill. We we granted you immunity. Uh uh we granted you freedom. Uh we gave you a black president. Um uh, uh we, we, we 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 gave you so much and you all are not happy. First of all, you gave us a black president and you still had chains on the black president. You gave us a black president and you still treated him like an old monkey Uncle Tom up there in in the White House. You gave us a black president and you still set up and made a mockery out of him. So you appeased us and still made a mockery out of us at the same time. Oh, you gave us segregation of the schools and everything like that. OK, but we're still being segregated. We're still being segregated. Oh, oh, well, 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 y'all was in a pandemic. We gave y'all, we gave y'all twelve hundred dollars. You gave us twelve hundred dollars. You gave us twelve hundred dollars. Okay, let me help you out with your twelve hundred dollar check. Twelve hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Y'all, y'all just say amen in the comments. Just say amen. Twelve hundred dollars was also twelve hundred dollars to twelve fifty on twelve hundred and fifty dollars for Negroes. That's what they paid for the Negroes back in the days. They paid twelve hundred to twelve fifty for Negro slaves. Right here, right here, right there. That was in an article that was in uh in a in a newspaper. It was it was a little a little pamphlet, little pamphlet. So again, Negroes, they're paying twelve hundred dollars. You years. said, Tavis, what is that word about promise? What the Barbara Jordan, what the American people want is simple. They want an America as good as its promise. Well, America is no good at all. <laughs> if you have made a promise that you don't keep, what are you? You are a liar. Did they promise the Native Americans? Did they write it in treaties? Did they fulfill it? Did they promise us 40 acres and a mule? Did they fulfill it? Brown versus the Board of Education. 50 years later, where's the promise? Is it fulfilled or are we still in segregated schools? The right to vote, you got it? But the minute they gave it to you, they were finding ways to take it back from you. Can't you open your eyes and see the house is burning? We are dying every day and we're in a hell of a condition because we've made a covenant with a government that is death itself with a people that have lied to us, deceived us, and murdered us, and rubs us good on one side and kicks us in the behind on the other. You are a deceived people. If you don't have the testicular fortitude to say what needs to be said, then sit down and stop trying to say you speak for our people and the hurt of the poor. They're paying twelve hundred dollars for you. Ain't nothing no different. So what you what you really asking for, huh? What you really asking for? Wait a minute. The undersigned wishes to purchase a large lot of Negroes for the New Orleans market. Um, will pay twelve hundred to twelve fifty for. One young man, and I think that's something to a thousand dollars for a young woman. Uh, in fact, will pay more for likely Negroes than any other trader in Kentucky. Okay, so this was in New Orleans. Again, all they're doing is just repeating history. So what I really want you all to do, not even asking you, 
want you to do. When you get on your knees to pray, pray with specifics. We, 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 we need you to pray specifics. Okay. Pray specifics. You, you want God to do something. What do you want him to do? And what actions are you putting forth? Y'all sha la 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 shut them tongues up and pray in English. Cause you don't even understand what you're saying in the natural. Pray in English. Listen, pray in English. Enough, fuck it up, burn it up, shoot it up, bang, bang. Fire, shooting, curfews, fuck them, arrest. We got money to get out of jail. If you go to jail, somebody gonna get your goddamn out. Because if you're gonna go to jail, you might as well go to jail for something. It's head busting time. Y'all heard what Ice Cube said. Fuck Good Morning America and fuck the police. This shit been going on since Ice Cube was young. Ice Cube old as hell and it's still going on. Shout out to the good cops that's standing with the people. Shout out to the celebrities that's putting the money to bond the protesters out. Y'all wasn't crying when George was dying, so don't be crying while your shit getting burned up. Because again, all your shit can be replaced. File an insurance claim, bitch. George life cannot be replaced. You can get your shit back, but George ain't coming back. Our mom ain't coming back. Brianna ain't coming back. Trayvon ain't coming back. Eric ain't coming back. Michael ain't coming back. Sandra Bland ain't coming back. And the list goes on and on. So y'all want us to be mad because they burning your motherfucking department stoves down. And y'all motherfuckers don't care about these people. Builders, Gucci stoves, Parada stoves, all of that again. Y'all niggas, them crackers don't want y'all in they shit. No goddamn way. So you think we give a damn about them tanned up y'all downtown, tanned up y'all Fancy ass boulevards. We don't get no fuck about that. God damn it. As far as I'm concerned, ain't nobody getting home from trees. Ain't nobody getting stolen, raped. Ain't nobody getting drugged from the back of trucks for miles. Ain't nobody got a knee on their neck for nine motherfucking minutes, Keisha. So the war really haven't started. Y'all niggas still scared. Cause all There's going to be a hearing on Juneteenth on reparations for the Holocaust. Tomorrow. I'm wondering, where do you stand on that issue? Do you believe uh, in reparations for slavery? And if not, should there be a public apology um, from Congress uh, or from the President in recognition of the theft of labor? Yeah, I, I don't think reparations for something that happened 150 years ago for whom none of us currently living are responsible is a good idea. Uh, we've, you know, tried to deal with our original sin of slavery by fighting a civil war, by passing uh, landmark civil rights legislation. Uh, we've elected an African-American president. I, I think we're always a work in progress in this country, uh, but n no one currently alive was responsible for that. And I don't think we should be uh, trying to figure out uh, how to compensate for it. First of all, it'd be pretty hard to figure out who to compensate. We've had waves of immigrants as well who've come to the country and experienced dramatic uh, uh, discrimination of one kind or another. So no, I don't think reparations are a good idea. You don't know what you're saying. You want to command something in the spirit. This is, what, this is the problem with the church. You want to command a God that you don't even have a relationship with. You want to command him in the spirit, but you don't even walk with him. You don't even talk with him. You don't even lead the people correctly that he's even gave you to shepherd over. If he gave you to even shepherd over them. This is the problem. Y'all mad at America. For what America's done to you. But this is also God's doing. This is also God's doing. This is also God's doing black folks. Folks of color. You praying to a God that you don't even have a relationship with. You want God to perform a miracle for you. But you don't even have a relationship with him. Oh, I pray all the time. Pray. What kind of prayer? What kind of prayer? Because prayer to God is like a is, is like having relations. Because if you only come to me when you need something, that is called pimp and hole. If the only time you come to me is when you need your belly filled, then you're trying to be pimped out because you're the hoe.
Now, if we also want to go scriptures, the Bible says this. If my people, ain't that what they say? Y'all find the scriptures. If my people, which are called by my name, that's what it say. If my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, seek my face. Wait, humble themselves, pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. Ain't that what it say? Oh, we're just figuring out that we're the elect people. Humble yourself. Now get on your knees and pray since you recognize that you are the elect people. And pray to God like you got some common sense and not like he's the pimp and you the hoe. And talk to him like you got a look sense of peace of mind. Because first of all, when I come to my mother, my father, I don't talk to them like, you know, like they the, 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 uh, the pimp and I, I'm the hoe. Humble yourself, pray, seek my face so that I can teach you what you need. What's up? So I can give you instructions to what you need. And once you, once I give you the instructions to what you need, then at that point, you turn from your wicked ways. At that point, that's when you stop worshiping idol gods. At that point, you realize that you stop praising creation and start praising the father because even Jesus said all the glory all the praise goes to God that, that that's 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 what it's supposed to be all the glory all the praise goes to God the father Jesus said follow me because he said follow me because this is the way that you should take because the only thing that I'm doing is giving God glory and praise because he said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. And then do what? Glorify the Father that's best in heaven. Oh, God already said, Yahweh the Father said that this was going to happen. He told Moses that this was going to happen. He said, your people are going to be in bondage for thousands of years because they hard-headed, disobedient, and stiff-necked. And what we Negroes are right now, hard-headed, stiff-necked, disobedient, don't want to follow rules. But we done found out that we, we didn't let people, and we, we got the key. Oh, we got the key. You better pray in the spirit, child. I got the key, child. Uh, yeah, okay. You got the key and you still in bondage. You got the key and you, we still in bondage. Oh, y'all pastors, y'all think y'all out because y'all done made millions off the church folk. Matthew, you done made millions off the church people. You in the good, baby. Your home is paid off. Honey, you ain't got no worries. You ain't got none. To, honey, listen, you still a nigga. And if them folks want to roll up on you, they still can. They don't care nothing about you being well known all over the world, all over in Chicago. They can care less. You still a nigga. And you still would be disrespected and you still would be chopped down and chopped on and all kind of stuff like that. Why? Because you still a nigga. You ain't got no power on this earth and you daggone sure ain't got no power up there in heaven. Because why? You still don't recognize who you serve. That's right. You still don't recognize who you serve. Because it's, it's good enough for you to manipulate dip the people. It's good enough for you to tell people to worship the Lord, worship the Lord. Come on, let's pray. Yes, it's easy. It's easy. Because you're shepherding dumb sheep. Sheep are ignorant while the shepherd is meandering around and fooling and playing with the wolves amongst the sheep. So while the, the, the shepherd is playing with the, the wolves, there are other wolves that are coming along and eating up the flock. And what did God say over in Jeremiah? I'll deal with them. I'll deal with them. What did he say over in Ezra? The second chapter. I'm sorry, second Ezra over in there. He said, for those shepherds who have led my sheep astray, I'll deal with them. Mm -hmm. I'll deal with them. And I will take my people and I will put them under a 
good shepherd. Now that's facts. Now again, there's nothing else left to ask for. We've asked for justice. We've asked for peace. We've asked for equality. We've asked for even equality in marriage. We've asked to be recognized as citizens, as human beings, and we bleed all the same and all this other stuff. Now, now that we've asked all these questions, now that we've put all these demands on the table, now it's time to recognize the God that you serve, right? Time to recognize Yahweh for being God. Of all. And to come back. Well, when did we leave God? I'm glad you asked. Because the Bible said that you was going to say that bull crap too. The Bible said. Well, they said. When did we forget about God? When did we forget him? When did we not recognize him? I say Jesus all the time. Is, is Jesus God? For you apostolic folks. Is Jesus God? Because if. If Jesus is telling you to give God the glory, then Jesus is telling you that I'm not God. He's God. He's the father. That's okay. That's okay. Even the Bible says that the elect shall scarcely make it in. <laughs> that's, what, that's what your Bible is saying. Even the elect shall scarcely make it in. Even the elect shall scarcely make it in. So, if the elect gonna scarcely make it in, let me just let me just hip y'all to something. For those of you who know the truth, for those of you who know the truth, walk in the truth. Don't be ignorant. Don't be um, trying to take the back seat so that everybody else can feel comfortable. You ain't gotta sit up right here and beat it down into nobody. You just pass the seat along and keep moving. Pass the seed along and keep moving. Somebody else going to come water it. You just deposit the knowledge and let somebody else come water it because you can't beat it into them. Because if you beat it into them, it's going to make people upset and they're still not going to get it. But that's OK. Like I said, you deposit the seed. Somebody else will come water it and you've done your job and keep pushing and keep moving. If they want to walk in ignorance, if they want to walk in ignorance, let them walk in ignorance. It's on them. It's not your fault. It's on them. It's not your fault. Listen, make sure you all hit that subscribe button. Make sure you all hit that follow button. OK, I'm just telling you what's right. And for the rest of y'all that want to sit out here and be mad at white people, let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you. God is the ultimate judge. Do you understand something? So why y'all want to get mad at white folks and say that they the white devils and things of that nature? God is the ultimate judge because right now the Bible says that God will use the foolish things to confine these wise niggas out here. You're so wise and full of the knowledge. Let me tell you something. You got white folks that standing up for you like for real, for real. You got white people that's out here for real, for real, protesting with you. I ain't talking about the slick ones that's out here trying to blow up places. You got white people, Chinese, Asians, gays, Muslims, and Jews and stuff. That's Khazar Jews that's really out here fighting for you. And you're still caught and you're haughty. You're still caught up and you're mad. And you think somebody owe you some baby. Yes, we're owed 40 acres and a mule. You're absolutely right. Yes, we're owed land. Yes, we're owed opportunities and all this other stuff. Do you not know that this country is full of land, but we want to just stay stuck up in these cramped small cities? We're owed 40 acres and a mule. But you're not going to fight for it. You're going to talk about it, but you ain't going to fight for it. And God has made it so funny that these people out here have marched for you and you still don't get it. That there are people that actually see that there is something wrong and this needs to be made right. This needs to be made right. This needs to be made right. And it's not just going to happen by us marching. We have got to not only march, but we've got to hit our government We've got to stack this stuff up and stay on their necks 
and say, you're going to give us justice and peace. You're going to give us equality and it's going to be consistent. You're not going to tell me that we free and you treat me like a slave. You're not going to tell me that I get the same equality as somebody else and you don't treat me the same. Oh, no, God dog, you're going to still treat me the same. Because I'm going I'm to not only fight for mine, I'm going to be vocal for mine and I'm going to hit these law offices like I'm supposed to. Because you're not going to get say you're going to give me something and then don't give it to me. Oh, America has a lot to answer for. And while y'all down there to my God bless America, baby, first of all, this is a stolen country. This is a country that's been built off the backs of murder, sex, and fraud, and thievery. Can God bless America? Absolutely. But America needs to recognize what they've done. All right. God bless.